Welcome. If you haven't done so already, please watch our tutorial series on making great entries for individual historical and cultural sites in Clio. Once there are enough entries in a particular area, you can create a complete walking or driving tour. Most of our tours cover one or two miles and include each of the historic landmarks one might see along the way. Other tours focus on specific themes and might cover larger areas, ideal for driving or simply as an educational resource, because you can explore history using Clio from any place in the world. For example, imagine you want to explore the history of the American Revolution in Boston. You can't do that with only one entry. Tours can help you guide visitors through a holistic historical experience spanning a particular area, several cities, or all the way across the country. This could be the ultimate road trip, or simply a way to explore a topic. So whether it's to share with others or just for your own adventure, let's make a tour together and you'll see how simple it can be. Here on the main Clio page next to Take a Tour is a button labeled Make Your Own. Clicking on that button will bring you here. Type in the city and state where you'd like to start your tour and move the pin to the location where you'd like it to begin. This will also be the place where your tour appears on the map, so be sure to think carefully about where to pin your tour. If you just type in the name of the state, the GPS coordinates will start searching for sites in the very middle of that state, so it's usually better to know what city you'd like to start in. For this video, we're very excited to make a tour about the Seven Sisters, the last surviving pre-Civil War houses in Charleston, West Virginia. You'll know from your research approximately the area your tour will cover. Take a moment to move the pin nearer to the starting point of the tour, or closer to its center. Leaving the pin in its default position will put it in a stack with everyone else who forgot to move their pin. At present, you won't have the opportunity to change the position of the pin later in the process. When you're ready, click Continue. Starting at the location where you pinned the tour, Clio will make a list of the entries for the historical sites nearest to the pin. Remember, people like you have contributed each entry to the Clio database, and you'll want to create all the entries you need for the tour before anything else. You can browse through the list, or if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can type the name into the search field at top right. Choose a wider search radius if you think the place you're looking for might be farther than 25 miles from the city center. If you're making a tour for public use, it's best to come up with your list of entries ahead of time so you don't leave anything out. I know from my research that the McFarland Hubbard House in Charleston is one of the Seven Sisters, so now that I've found it, I can just click the green Add Entry button next to its listing. Clicking that green button, adds the entry to your Selected Tour Entries itinerary underneath the map on the left. And look, a pin appears on the map showing where the entry is located. Once an entry has been added to the tour, the green Add button next to it in the search results will deactivate, so you can't accidentally add the same place twice. Let's add more locations to our tour. If you add a location by mistake, you can always send it back to the list. Now all seven sisters are in our tour. However, the order in which we added them may not be the ideal sequence in which to visit them. No problem. The number of the pin on the map corresponds to the site's place in the tour, so all we have to do is change the order of the itinerary. To do this, either click on the arrows next to an entry to move it one slot up or down in the tour, or click and drag it to another slot. Everything underneath its new slot will shift one number later in the sequence. Watch the map the numbers on the pins will update automatically. Compare the original itinerary order with our final version. We've optimized the final tour to be logical and navigable, so visitors can drive or walk easily from place to place once Google Maps calculates the directions. For some themed tours, such as a Civil War military campaign, the order can be both logical and chronological but in many cases, it's best to arrange your itinerary to produce the simplest directions. This will result in more visitors using and appreciating your tour. An itinerary that is chaotic and complicated will result in fewer visitors. If you've optimized your tour for driving, the walking directions might look a little odd, or vice versa. If you intend the tour to favor one of these modes of travel, as is often the case, it may be a good idea to make note of that in the title or summary. When you're happy with the entries and sequence of your tour, click the big green Continue button underneath your tour itinerary. Almost done. Let's give our tour a name in the title field. 
Then give it a brief description. A few complete sentences describing the tour and including some of the highlights is usually sufficient, but you might also want to offer some background information. In this case, for example, a snapshot of Charleston's history or an explanation of the moniker Seven Sisters. The last step is whether to make the tour public for others to enjoy or simply add it to your Clio account as a tour for your own use. For example, you might create a personal itinerary and save it as a private walking tour called Places I Want to See in Charleston. That tour won't appear on the map where others can see it, but it will be saved in your account profile for personal use. But if you've worked hard to create a walking tour that is sure to appeal to a large audience, or if you've built a tour around a specific historical theme, such as the Seven Sisters or Nashville's African American history, or even if you've created a walking tour that makes the history of your town come alive, you can make it public and it will show up on the map. Pick the option you prefer for your tour. You can change it later if you like. Then click the big green Save Your Tour button. Make sure you do this, because if you navigate away from your tour before you save anything, all your progress will be lost. Now you're looking at your finished tour. The route between all your sites is automatically calculated by Google Maps and displayed to any visitors. You can always edit the order and update the tour with new entries later. With Clio, you can select walking or driving directions as determined by Google Maps. For the moment, Google Maps will only display directions for tours with 24 entries or fewer. Don't worry, the tour will still calculate directions from site to site. The route simply won't be displayed on the master map. If someone loves your tour but wants to make their own version with some changes, they can click Customize down at the bottom of the itinerary. Don't worry though, this will create a new tour using yours as a template. It won't change your original tour. If you'd like to do this to create a custom version of someone's tour for yourself, it's probably best to save this as a private tour in your account so there aren't dozens of similar tours in one place. And remember, if you want to make changes to your tour, click on Edit Tour in the bottom right. This will take you back to the page where you first added entries to your tour. Just repeat the steps as if you were first putting the tour together, except that all the sites you've added before will already be there. You can easily find, access, or edit your tours at any time by clicking on your profile, which is accessible anytime you're logged into your account. Each of your tours are listed at the bottom of your profile, underneath all the entries you've worked on. Each tour has its own URL, making it easy to share a tour on social media or a website. Clio is free for everyone, thanks to donations from users like you, and we hope to add new features in the future.